Right. Here like a total idiot here this time of night. It's after 11 o'clock. Really because I was sort of challenged by you and Wallace that I wouldn't come up. He thought um, I was doing Thomas Shutter because I was too feared to come up to Migby Kirk late at night after 11. So I says, you're on. So I'm here. It's after 11 o'clock and here we go. You ready? You see the time? But there's no sign of Ewan because he's feared the, the pirate ghost that he um, has convinced himself was lurking about here because there's a there's a gravestone with a skull and crossbones. So Ewan, this is just for you. Fine creepy tune for a Halloween night. This is Flyby Castle, which was written by James Scott Skinner. And Ewan, it's about the ghosts at Flyby. Very haunted place. But the most notable ghost is the Green Lady. They have a haunted room a curse in it. If it's ever opened, it's sealed shut, there's no doors, but the can it's there. If it's opened, when they opens it, it comes to a sticky end very quickly. Scary stuff, creepy. The green lady roams the house late at night. She's pining because her husband murdered her. Locked her in the room until she died. Her brother was murdered before her eyes. It stains the flare of the room she was killed in. And she came back to haunt her lover, her husband. She'd had a heap of kids with her girls. He wanted boys. And she got the blame by him. Nothing to do with him, of course. <laughs> Which is a lot of nonsense, because apparently it's got nothing to do with him. But anyway, um, she appeared at the window the wedding night when he got remarried. Which must have freaked him out. Something wrong. And her name is carved into the window for she was peering at Lilius Drummond. So this is Fivey Castle. Just for you, you and, and your ghost pirate. Outside, so my head's getting calm because I've got a head like Jean Luc Picard for Star Trek. Make it so. <laughs> <laughs> 